This video shows the browser-based plugin simulation and live preload workflow for the Cordova extension in Visual Studio Code. First, let's create a new Ionic project. To this Ionic project, let's then add the Android platform and the network information plugin. Let us then open Visual Studio Code. In this instance of Visual Studio Code, I already have the Cordova Tools extension installed. I am just setting this project as a Cordova project and I am ready to start debugging. The new release of the extension has two additional menus, Simulate Android in Browser and Simulate iOS in Browser. If you now start a new debugging session, you will notice that your application has opened in the browser. Inside Visual Studio Code, you will also notice this panel on the right that displays all the plugins that you have added to your project. I can change the screen size to emulate various types of devices. All these panels are very similar to Apache Ripple. I can also fire custom events like back button, hardware off, mute, volume, etc. In this example, I am just adding an event listener to the back button. When I click the fire button, the event handler gets invoked and back gets printed on the console. Since the project has the device plugin added, I can use window.device to view the characteristics of this device. Note that all these characteristics are defined using the user interface. Similarly, I can use the API provided by the network information plugin that I just added to view the network characteristics. I can also add an event handler that can be toggled when the device goes offline or online. In this case, I can use the user interface to change the connection type. If I set the connection type to anything except none, an event will be fired indicating that my device is back online. Let me now add the camera plugin. I just need to restart my debugging session and a new panel for the camera plugin will show up. And there is the panel for the camera plugin. If I now use an API from the camera plugin, the plugin simulation will kick in. Before we get started, let me quickly define a utility log function that simply logs the results of my callbacks. When the get picture call is invoked, a dialog box shows up asking me to choose a picture. This typically happens because my browser may or may not support natively using the camera. While only the core Apache Cordova plugins have panels built into the extension, any other plugin can also be simulated using this extension. Here I am adding the Microsoft Code Push plugin to my project. The Microsoft Code Push plugin is a great way to send over the updates to your Cordova applications. There is no panel for the Code Push plugin. However, if I still use a code push API, I will get this dialog box that lets me manually enter 
the values for any of the code push exit calls. We also have the option to persist our API responses. If we did persist a response, every API call will simply reuse those values. Like Ripple, Live Reload is also supported. As soon as I change my files and save them, my application automatically reloads. In this example, I am navigating to the Chats tab and to the source file that corresponds to that section in my application. As soon as I change the file and save it, my application automatically reloads. In case of styles, images or fonts, we don't really need to reload the entire application. In those cases, the application state is preserved and only the resource is reloaded. The other debug activities like setting breakpoints, watching variables, looking at call stacks continue to work just as usual.